and welcome. And in today's video, I shall be talking about and demonstrating a tool, an American tool, that is over 100 years old. It was invented in 1910 and patented in 1916, uh, partway through the First World War, by Mr. Starrett, the now famous um, Starrett uh, Tool Company. Uh, the tool in question is called a planar gauge, and it is when it was invented it was for mainly for setting the tool height on a planing machine or a shaper machine but since then it's, uh, it's many many other uh, uses have been uh, found for it so uh, let's turn you around and uh, go over to the bench and I will show it to you set up on my service plate you join me over there bye so here we see uh, the tool in question, um, a planer gauge. Now this, this isn't a Starrett, this, is this is a shop built one. And in fact I'll put some photographs um, uh, later on that, 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 that show all the, uh, the different variations that you can get because I mean you say the Starrett and Brown and Sharp and, and all the other um, American names. So um, now, the, now the idea of the thing is, 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 is that this block is, is adjustable. You know, and of course, it, it's it's as you adjust it up and down, the, the, the height changes, and, and and the idea is is that um, you know you 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 either mic across either this say so on on this one there's only two faces that this one and and that one. Um, so I said you just just mic across there and set it to whatever thickness you want or there or or whatever. And if and if if need be, um, you know you 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 got all you got all these extensions. There's a there's a half inch, a one inch, a two inch, and a four inch, and this is maximum up there is is um, two inches so with them all on there um, I can get nine and a half inches so as I say once you've uh, you know you can you can just there's a, there's a tap hold some some of the other manufacturers I mean that they, they have a tap hold here as well or some of them there's there's an up and over bar so there's there's all sorts of, of variations on it and the idea being is that uh, and, and th these are ground and lap to, uh, to to close tolerance so so the idea is is you so say you you pick your Pick your micrometer up and and um, say be winding it uh, too far. Sorry about the aeroplane. It's to say it's pilots raining again. Um, you know you can you can just uh, put your mic across here um, and, and 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 slide it to and fro until you till you get the dimension that you want. You can also use a vernier, of course. Um, yeah. Now this tool is can be very useful for the. Uh, um, home workshop. I mean, especially if you haven't got a, if you don't own a, a, a height gauge or a set of Joe blocks, or slip cages as they're now called, uh, called, you can actually um, set the dimension that you want across here with your micrometer. And this isn't an actual beak, but I, I couldn't find the real beak. But you can actually fit on the top um, a beak. You know, a hardened, a hardened um, blade with a with a sh with a sharp edge on it, and you can just put that on there and. There we are, you've got to you turn it around so that we can actually uh, access the side. Um, you know, you've got a you've got a you've got a you've got a marking you've got, you know you've got you've got a you've got a marking cage. Sorry about that, this it's pilot training again, it's a real pain. I have to keep stopping because it keeps buzzing around. Um, yeah, so I mean that is that is uh, that is one instance. Now here is another another instance. I mean, I know I know this is on the surface plate, but I mean you you can, you can use this on a, on a machine as well. Say we wanted to know what the height of, of, of this was, and and you didn't have a depth mark that was big enough. With with the aid of this, you can actually um, put it on there and slide it down until the until the um, beak touches the top, and then lock it off. You can then carefully remove the beak and then of course you know you mic over the the part and then and then you'll know um, you know what 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 size the um what size the part is so that's uh that's another little um uh, thing that you can do with it let's see what other else we can come up with uh it's 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 all been uh, precision ground um as another example you use it as a square you know it's uh how easy is that now here's another example where this this would come in very useful the 
useful for the uh, home machinist. I suspect to say, if, if you haven't got any um, slip gauges, you can adjust this to the um, size that you want, and then you can use it for a sign bar, or with a sign bar, should I say. Yeah, pop that on there, and uh, and there's your sign worked out. Also, the other thing you can actually do is is, is use it as a comparator. You with your with your DTI and the and the uh, you can set that on there to zero to make that out that's a zero. You can then pop your part underneath it. And there we go, that's another uh, that's another nice use for it. Now another use for it is um uh, if, if you were machining and you wanted another width of a slot, I mean, um, this is this is just a bias, but you can you can pop it in, you can um, you can pop it in there and just slide it out until it's a snug fit. Tighten it up and measure it. You see a lot of people on um, YouTube now um, using uh, adjustable parallels, so just instead of using your inside uh, jaws or your vernier, um, you know, do it with a do it with adjustable parallel and and mic over it. So that's another uh, little uh, tip that you can use it for. Now, bearing in mind, I mean, all these things I'm showing you just with this, I mean, can, can all be done with, with you know, add as, add as many extensions on as you want. So, I mean, you, you, you can do, you know, if you had a big slot, of course, you know, you can you know, still adjust it and, and, and take it from there. And then, and then as I say, either, either put, a, put a vernier across it or, or, or a micrometer to, uh, to get your distance. Now perhaps a few of you uh, older guys out there have uh, got one of these and been using it for many years. Now if there's anything that I've left out, you know, a, an idea that you use um, quite frequently or, or, or not even frequently, um, please please put it in the comments and uh, and help us all out. I mean we're all uh, all keen to learn. I think that's enough of this uh, uh, demonstration here. We'll go inside and uh, conclude this video. Catch you indoors in a moment. So there we are again, that's another uh, video out the door. Now I hope you found that uh, of, of interest. Um, I think it's certainly worth, uh, it was worth me doing it, so especially to you uh, uh, new people out there that um, uh, don't know anything about it. And, so, and especially, you know, if, if, if budget is tight and, uh, you know, you haven't got uh, slip gauges or, or um, a height gauge, you know, um, have a look, as I say, there's, 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 there's nothing on uh, eBay England, um, there's, there's plenty in America again of course, um, uh, might be worth investigating, I mean I, th I think they you know, they, they, they range from about um, uh, 80 US dollars upwards, but uh, you know, I mean you, you couldn't buy a box of slips for that or, or a height gauge, so uh, certainly worth considering. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed that, thanks once again for, for watching. Um, Please subscribe, ring the bell, click the like, and and certainly uh, send me some comments if you if you've uh, you know you've got some ideas that I've missed out on. So uh, until we meet again in the next video, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well, and happy, and catch you on another one. Bye.